Hello everybody, we are on episode 6 of Dave Dog's Rant of the Month, and today's episode, we are going to be talking about treating your siblings with respect. And obviously you want to treat your siblings with respect, because if you treat them with respect, they'll treat you. And obviously, a big reason why there's not you're not treating your sibling with respect is during fights, when you fight with your sibling, that's a big time. So name calling, fighting physical fights and all that kind of stuff and arguments could lead to disrespecting each other and not liking your sibling. So that's what I want to get into today. And so I will start how I always do and I'll go into how I relate it to my life. So, I mean, back a couple years ago, me and my brother would fight all the time over the littlest things. My brother Lucas Gordon, he is um, why did I say Gordon? <laughs> and brother Lucas, he is 14 years old, 8th grade now. But This is back when maybe he was 10 years old and I was 14, 13. It was like 9 that time. I would say around that time, we would fight over the littlest things. We, we would hurt each other a lot. Like, we would... I pushed him over the couch once and he had to go to the hospital because he had to get, like, stitches or something because we got into fights over that. But I don't want to talk about that too much. It's just... We got into so many fights, but we actually didn't like each other. And he always would just not want me in his room. And I don't know. We just didn't have a great relationship back in the day. And really, you know, it's normal. And we would get in trouble a lot with our parents because we were always fighting. We always have to get separated from each other for a while. So, I mean, it wasn't that fun. And I didn't hate him. I just didn't like the way he treated me sometimes. And, eh. It's what it is what it was, but honestly, you know, fighting with him taught me a lesson. It really did, because I am the older brother, and I have to really be the influence on him, the positive influence on him. I got to be the older brother, the, the guy that he looks up to when he's older, and he wants to be like me when he's older. And so, you know... It wasn't easy, like, getting into arguments all the time. But as I got older, I came to realize that I got to be the bigger person and not start all these arguments and not get in these arguments with them. Treat them with more respect. So now, over these last few years, oh, we've got, our relationship has grown a lot. We still have these fights over little things of, still, but, like, I don't want to, I don't need to get into detail, but we argue here and there, but that's normal. But it's a lot less than what we did. And I, we have a great relationship. Like, when we see each other all the time, we dab each other up. We say, I love you. We, we like, giggle, laugh. We play mini hoop with each other and just all different things. We joke around with each other about our sports teams and things like that. So, I mean, it's been a lot better with that. And, you know, I've just grown to love my brother, you know, and treat him with respect because he is starting to get older, and I want him to treat other other people in his life with respect and, you know, not be like we were back then, you know? So, honestly, our relationship has grown a lot. We're a lot closer, and we do a lot more stuff together, and we talk a lot more than we usually do. We have some nice conversations. I'll check up on him, see how his day was doing, how he had fun with his friends, how his soccer game go. I wish him luck in his games, you know, things like that. And he, he shows appreciation by saying thank you. And everything I do to help him, he says thank you. So he's appreciative of me. I'm appreciative of him for the one of the, the best brother I could have, you know. And, you know, no matter how many farts we get in, we will love each other for the end. That's what brothers are for. And... Honestly, or siblings, I should say, but in our case, brothers. But yeah, that's what we're for. We're here to love each other, support each other, go through the ups and downs with each other. And honestly, it's just get through life together. And we'll even have a better relationship when we're in our when our adults, when we're in our adult years. Like how um, my dad and his siblings got get together, get along together now. And my mom, same thing. She gets along with her siblings great. So... If it's passed on from generation to generation and basically if one generation you know if they show that they can 
that they have a good relationship, it'll make the younger generation, like my generation and my, Lucas, our siblings, we want it, we would want to be have a good relationship because we know having a good relationship could just show that you love your brother and you know you're you're very close with your brother or very close with your sibling and the closer the better you know you're gonna build a stronger bond so honestly i mean lucas man i just wanted to say honestly i'm proud of you all that you accomplished because you're in eight. Go, you're graduating eighth grade in a couple weeks, and I just can't believe it. you're going off to high school, and you're gonna, you you're finishing with all honor honor rolls, high honors, I should say. You're probably gonna get some awards, some really nice awards, and a lot of different subjects, achievement in this, achievement in that, and honestly, he's just gonna. He's finishing out middle school, elementary school. Awesome, like. And hopefully he can build on that into high school. It's going to be a lot tougher. He got um, suggested into, and he'll probably he's going to be doing like geometry honors and uh, science honors, like Spanish honors. You know, he's gonna he's gonna be in a, like a bunch of those classes. And I wish him the best of luck. And I, I I believe in him. I know he could do it as long as he stays on top of his assignments, which he's really good with staying on top of his assignments. He gets all his work done, and he does great on his tests. He's, he studies. You know, he does it all. So. That's that. And then the other part of him is his sports. He's very athletic. Great soccer player. Great basketball player. Now, he's playing soccer in high school, and he he achieves so much in soccer. He scored a lot of goals. He's just a great passer. And in basketball, he's just an all-around great teammate. He, he, he'll he try to get the, bat, the pass for the assist more than taking the shot. He's not selfish like that. So that is that's called being a great athlete, and that's what he is. He's an all-around great athlete, great student and great person to 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 get to know honestly so i'm proud of you lucas congratulations on graduating i can't wait to go to your graduation next month and your award ceremony and believe it or not you'll be off into high school can't believe it and i hope you get some of my teachers that you had in high school that'd be great but um yeah he definitely will so yeah that's pretty much that um lucas I, when you watch this video just know i love you forever bro Anyway, I think that's going to probably do it for today. I just wanted to keep it a little shorter today. I got a little under 10 minutes today. Got everything I wanted to say out. So honestly, yep, that's going to do it for today. I am working on a video. I am almost, it's all edited and uploaded. You guys will enjoy it because it has to do with something that I'm involved with right now. And so I won't spoil too much. So that's going to do it for today. I am on summer break. So more and more videos hopefully can be out. I just got to keep on thinking of ideas and have the motivation to keep editing and filming and I, I have a lot of ideas in mind it's just a matter of getting them done so yep i hope you guys all enjoyed the video i will see you guys in the next one peace out